Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you. So today we'll continue with um, lab 7 which you will learn how to implement VLAN and trunking in a local air network. So this is the note topology for today's lab. In here, there are three different subnets uh, and six pieces. So basically, we have subnet number one, that is 172.17.10.0, um, SIDA 24, and in subnet 172.17.10.0, um, they are assigned with, uh, the, the subnet is assigned with two PCs. And then we have second subnet, which is 172.17.20.0, and we have the third subnet, which is 172.17.30.0. So um, in the topology itself, we also have um, three switches and the six pieces is connected to the, to the multiple switches. And um, we also have the IP phone, which, uh, which is to demonstrate um, the configuration of the uh, voice VLAN in this uh, particular topology. In here, you are given the addressing table um, and it actually specify the IP address and the subnet mask for each of the PCs. And for um, each PC, there will be assigned a VLAN and port number on the, um, on the associated switch. So what we're going to do today is we are going to verify um, the default VLAN configuration. Um, next, we will configure the VLAN, um, assign VLAN to parts, and also we will configure the trunk. So the first step here, which is part one, is uh, I would like to show you uh, what is the um, configuration or what is the default uh, VLAN uh, configuration in a switch. So to show the default VLAN configuration, what you have to do is first, um, you need to issue the command show VLAN brief. So if we look into the output, <laughs> you can see that there is a summary of um, number of VLAN that we have in the switch that currently configured in the switch. So basically we have not configured anything um, on um, switch two. Um, therefore, we only have one default VLAN, which is VLAN one, and all of the ports are assigned to that particular VLAN one. Now, in step two, um, you were asked to verify the connectivity between PCs on the same network. So, if we look into to the network topology, you are required to ping from PC1 to PC4, PC2 to PC5, and also PC3 to PC6. So I will try to uh, verify the connectivity of the um, PCs in network 172.17.10.20. So I will ping from PC1 to PC4. So ping 172. Dot seventeen dot ten dot twenty four, which is the IP address of PC four, and you can see that we get the replies uh, from PC four. So note that we have not configured any configuration on the switch yet, but because uh, the PC one and PC four sits within the same LAN, um, same subnet, has the reason why the uh, packet is able to be forwarded to the to PC4. But if you try to verify the connectivity between PC1 and PC2, which uh, which is on different VLAN, so you can see that um, the uh, ping uh, test will fail. So let me demonstrate. 17.20.22. which is the IP address of uh, PC2. So here you can see that we do not get any SCMP replies from the destination address uh, just because uh, we have uh, the uh, 
PCs, PC1 and PC2 sits in different subnet. They are located at this different subnet, hence the reason why um, we do not, uh, the ping test fails. So now once we have verified the connectivity and verified the uh, VLAN configuration in um, switch, you can do the same for the rest of the PCs and you can verify the VLAN summary in each of the switch. So we will proceed with the first task, which is we would like to configure the VLAN. So the first step is um, you need to create a name VLANs on switch one. So here the requirement is you have to create five VLANs, which is VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30, 99, and also 150. So VLAN 99 is the VLAN that we will set as native VLAN um, instead of VLAN 1 and VLAN 150 will be set uh, as a voice VLAN. So to uh, create the VLAN, it's very simple. Um, in here, I will perform the operation, uh, the creation of the VLAN on switch 1. So I will close um, to the CLI for uh, switch 2 and this is the CLI for switch 1. So make sure you go to the global configuration mode and to create a VLAN simply simply type VLAN and assign the VLAN number to it and then apply the name which is for VLAN 10 the name should be uh, faculty or staff. So we will proceed with the rest of the VLAN number. Um, note that I do not type exit every time I finish create and naming each of the VLAN. So you just can proceed in creating VLAN within the uh, VLAN configuration prompt. So the next is VLAN 20. So the name is students. Then we also have VLAN 30 and the name of the VLAN is guest. Next, we have VLAN 99. This um, later on, we will assign this particular VLAN as a native VLAN for, for the net for the switch. And finally, um, I will create VLAN 150 and we will name it as voice. So let us look back what we have configured so far. So I will issue again um, the command show VLAN brief to see whether we have added all of the VLAN that we have created just now. So this is the VLAN that I've created and also this is the name of the VLAN. But currently you can see that none of the ports has been assigned to the VLAN. So that is our next step, uh, which is assigning ports to VLAN. Um, this is the configuration for switch one. What you have to do is you need to repeat the configuration for switch two and also switch three. So um, that's all for uh, creating and naming VLAN. I'll see you in the next video.